My mother was really a, a wonderful woman. Her dad died when she was two years old. You know, she would so little, and she made me a cowboy. So uh, I worked on ranches, like I wanted to be a you know, romantic cowboy working on a ranch. So my feeling was I didn't want to be an artist, going to be a cowboy. My first commission was when I was eight years old, as I remember it. Uh, I drew a lot. I drew horses and girls and different things and laying down in the living room floor and using Crayolas and um, keeping inside the lines. <laughs> that was kind of important to me at that time. You know, it was just, that's what I did. Later on, I didn't want to be an artist. I wanted to be a cowboy. Well, you know, I, uh, I think I had maybe visions of being big famous artists when I was young. And it only took me about two weeks after I came on the art market to get in the Museum of Modern Art. I'd met Warhol, I mean, uh, I met Warhol when he just painted soup cans. Met him later on, when after we had our one-man show. Warhol and I had our first one-man show in New York exactly the same time. So that blew all of the things of me waiting around for many years to get in the museums. But, you know, uh, I'm no, really no part of the world of art. I'm kind of over here in a, my own special little place. But I said, what would, what's the best gallery in, L, in the LA area? And I was told Felix Landau Gallery. So I said, okay, I'm gonna take my paintings and see if he'll, what he thinks. While I was there, I had, I had taken four paintings with me. Three um, women in automobiles and one nude. I uh, went to La Cienega Boulevard where his gallery was and just walked in. And I walked in and there was a show going on at that time. So I set my paintings down against the wall and started looking at the show. And I heard, uh, whose paintings are these? Well, my thought was, I sh they shouldn't have been there. Someone was uptight with me. I said, they're mine. And Felix said, well, I'm kind of, it's kind of interesting. Come in, I want to talk to you. He took me in his office. He said, uh, tell me about yourself. So I remember telling him things. I said, I was born in Tohoka, Texas. And he said, where? In Tohoka, Texas. And he said, no one comes from Tohoka, Texas. So Felix said, uh, how about me setting you up in a place to paint, give you some paints, and you paint for a month, and if I like what you do, I'll take you on as an artist. I started painting. I was taken by these photographs of Marilyn Monroe in the Life magazine. I did this painting of, you know, three, three Marilyns, and behind each Marilyn was three... Uh, photographs of her, I painted, you know. So anyway, I finished that and uh, got a call from Felix. And he said, uh, well, 
come over and see what you got. I said, okay. Came over and uh, saw the Maryland triptych and he said, fantastic. And he literally just took the paintings and took them with him and I guess made arrangements for a show in New York. And so he took the Maryland's and he also took one of the women in cars. Museum of Modern Art bought the Maryland's and they bought the woman in stripy dress. So one of those original pop art paintings that I did in Texas went to the Museum of Modern Art before nearly anyone did. Warhol, uh, Lichtenstein, um, Rosenquist before him, you know. Felix got a call from uh, Life magazine. They said they wanted me to do a portrait of John Wayne. So um, the limousine picked me up from my studio in um, Hermosa Beach and uh, took me out to his ranch at Tarzana, which is close by LA. So got out, walked in the door, and inside, the, it was a huge dining room. There was a table as big as this whole room here. You know? So down at one end, I walked in the door at this end, and down at the other end was Duke. I walked in, he said, hey Gil, come on down, you know? So he said, you had breakfast here, you sat by me. And he, he had a bunch of people sitting around the table. And he said, well, do you want what I have? I said, sure. Well, he just, he took a tumbler, you know, maybe 10 or 12 inch tumbler and just filled it up with bourbon. But art, the whole art, everything changed right at, right at that point. Uh -huh. I mean, he has a phenomenal history and an important place in the history of modern art. Uh, he was one of the constituent part of the pop art movements in America from the 60s forward. He's made a significant contribution to that period, very important period in world art history. So it's an absolute pleasure to have his work here this evening and of course to be here with James Gill. <laughs> My pop art is really what the original term was, a popular subject. So that can be movie stars or uh, the political scene. Um, I love his use of colors and the images are very iconic. So you have Marilyn Monroe, Elizabeth Taylor and the Beatles, so they're they're world-known icons, so they're very classic, and they will never go out of fashion. In 1967, I was chosen to be part of the San Paolo uh, Biennale. And when you read who all was in it, it's really uh, pretty amazing. Wesselman, Warhol, Thibault, Ruscio, Rosenquist, Rauschenberg, Oldenburg, Liechtenstein. This was quite an honor, being part of this. Chosen as one of the top artists in the U.S. I mean, I was really, really proud that I'd been chosen with this group of artists. James was one of those unique original artists. To put him in the same bracket of, of Liechtenstein and Andy Warhol, is something um, in terms of the galleries that we can represent. It's so unique and it's so different um, that it's, it's, um, yeah, it's something that we're really excited about. Yeah.